What's up everybody, Joe here, and today I wanted to reach out to all you aspiring live streamers out there and show you the basic simple setup that you need to get started live streaming on a service like Twitch today for free. All you need is a basic webcam, something simple that can capture your face because believe me, people want to see your beautiful mug and a microphone, something that you can talk into. Doesn't have to be anything crazy, just enough that you can get it done. First thing that you'll need is a way to capture from those fantastic devices and I highly recommend a free program called OBS. If you go over to the Googles, type up a search, OBS. You will find OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. This is an open source program that's completely free for you to download and use. You can go in here, download it. They have it for Windows, Mac, Linux, all that good stuff. Give that a download and you're halfway there. Next, when you first open up OBS, you'll have a blank sheet like this. There won't be a background. That's just kind of my desktop background that's on there but you will have this little section on the bottom left called scenes. If you've ever watched a live streamer and they have the basic setup where they're recording gameplay, camera's kind of in the corner, and then maybe there's a loading screen and they transition it so their entire face takes up the screen for a few minutes, maybe there's a chat window there. Those two different shots are different scenes. They're just transitioning between those things. So you kind of set them up beforehand and then change to each one uh, as you go. Basically what you'll do is you'll come down here and click the plus button, add a new scene, name it whatever you want, whatever you want, click OK, and then it'll give a blank sources section. And this is where you put in there what you're actually capturing from. So hit the little plus button, go here to display capture. That's if you're gonna be capturing straight from your PC screen or game capture if you're capturing from an outside device like an Elgato capture card or something like that. That's usually used if you're capturing from a console. So I'm gonna go with display capture here. Nav, give it a name, click OK, and then in this little drop down, that's where you'll choose what screen you wanna to capture to. That'll usually depend on if you have more than one monitor on your computer or not. Click OK, and it adds it right up to the viewport. There you go, That what you see right there is what you're gonna be capturing. However, now that we got our screen captured, we wanna get our beautiful faces in there. So click plus, go down to video capture device, give it a name, click okay, and then you can select your webcam in this area here, and it'll give you a preview up here. You can't see it for my screen right now because I'm actually capturing from my webcam in a separate software. So that's kind of using it. You can't capture in two different softwares from one camera at the same time. So mine's blank, yours won't be blank. It'll be in there. Click configure video and you can adjust settings like color balance and stuff like that on your camera. Click okay and it'll add it to your source. Now that we've got game capture, we've got your lovely face captured. We wanna hear that musical voice, those docile tones coming out of your vocals. To do that, you'll add another plus and do an audio input capture. This is where you add your microphone. Come in here, select which microphone you're gonna be using, click OK, and you're rolling. You're pretty much good to go. You can click on these different scenes and it'll box them out. You can move them around, adjust the size, do things like that, and then you're, you're good to go. Pretty much could go live right now, but you're missing one very important thing. It's called a stream key. Now to get the stream key, you have to actually have an account on one of the web streaming services. It doesn't matter if you use YouTube, Mixer, Twitch, they all work the exact same way. I'm gonna show you Twitch because that's where I live stream from and we'll hop over there real quick and show you how it's done. First things first, you'll come over to twitch.tv and up in the top right hand corner, you'll click the sign up button and this is where you'll set up your account. Give yourself a unique username and set up the rest of your information. Now very important, when it comes to usernames, you wanna choose something that's simple, relatable, defines you, and is a name. I see so many live streamers who use things like Triple X Sniper Wolf with the one Triple X 69 or something like that. You gotta think about this as it's a service that you're providing. You want people to be able to find you. If somebody watches your stream and they wanna tell their friend about it because they enjoyed it, they have to be able to pronounce your name. If your name has numbers for letters and six X's and a W. Nobody's gonna be able to explain that to a friend and the odds of you actually growing are gonna be hindered right off the bat. So think of the biggest streamers that there are. You've got Lyric, you've got Shroud, very simple, 
easy to find, easy to look up in Google. So choose something simple that's a name and that people will remember. Once you've got that set up, you're gonna go into your actual account. I'm gonna pop over to my personal Twitch here to show you this part. You'll go up to the top right corner where your little logo will be, go down to settings. Once you're in there, go to channel and videos. And then up here is your primary stream key. Now this, like I said, is Twitch, but it'll be the same thing on all the other st uh, streaming services. Somewhere in the settings, you'll be able to find this option. Big important thing though, do not let anybody see your stream key because if anybody else gets that code, they can access your live stream from anywhere in the world. So make sure to keep that private. Come over here, click copy, go back to OBS, open up your settings, click on stream, select service, wherever you're streaming to, Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, wherever you're doing, select that option, paste your stream key in here, click apply, click okay, and you're golden goose, baby. You are good to go live. All you have to do is click that start streaming button right there in the corner, and it'll kick you online. It's that simple. So hopefully that will help you out get started. If you go through this system and it works for you, let me know down in the comments below how it went. If it was easy, if it was hard, what issues you had. Uh, leave your channel name too if you set one up because I'd love to come by and check it out. If you do have any additional questions regarding any of this though, I do live stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's 7.30 Monday, Wednesday, and 8.30 on Fridays. That's Mountain Standard Time. Feel free to swing on by, check out the live stream, and ask your question in the chat, and I would be very happy to help you out and answer any of those questions. I hope to see you guys there, and I hope to see you going live over there very soon. If this video was helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. I hope to do more videos like this in the future. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Adios.